As Canadians, we're used to discussing our issues over a cup of coffee, and that's exactly what newly elected Mayor Frank Campion decided to do today in Welland. I have coffee with the mayor today, and I guess it's, it happens about uh, every four months, and this is my first one. So it was exciting. We had a lot of people and uh, had some coffee and a great conversation about what's going on in the municipality. And what kind of things were you hearing from people today? A lot of it had to do with the WRCC and the costs associated with the Pan Am Games. Uh, a lot of it had a lot of it related to, to money. So how is our money being spent? A little bit about transparency and openness. And uh, I think we addressed those issues by being here and answering the questions in an honest way. You mentioned transparency and openness, and you kind of platformed yourself a bit on that. Can you discuss how you're going to move forward with that platform? Well, it's all about this type of thing, uh, having meetings with the community. Uh, here I have an, a regularly scheduled press conference, which you are invited to, uh, on every second Tuesday, where I sit down, I have items that I present, uh, making sure that people are aware, and then answering questions on them. So it's all about getting the information first and then making sure the information gets out, and that's what that transparency issue is, uh, entails. And you're a new mayor, but you're a longtime councillor. What's it like making that transition from councillor to mayor? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting one because the one is a councillor sitting at the table, and as the mayor, you're sitting at the head of the table directing. So, uh, it's uh, it's not a challenge, but it's it's just a different approach. As the mayor, you're more at a council meeting, the referee, as opposed to uh, somebody that's playing the game. And I miss that part of it, but I have that opportunity at the regional uh, level now. So uh, that's the biggest difference. The other difference is it's much more time consuming. Um, you know, we set, I set the agendas and uh, meet with staff. So it's challenging, but very, very, very entertaining and enjoyable. My platform, my feeling about the cities, we need to fix it. We need to utilize our assets, maximize them, leverage them so that every asset we have here either enhances the quality of life, becomes sustainable, uh, where possible generates revenues to cover costs. So it's all about fixing and utilizing our assets. Once we, if we can maximize the use of our assets, we will have a, a differentiation which will make us more attractive to investors and residents to, to move here. And you discussed having more of these coffee breaks. How is it with the breaks? And aside from that, can an average citizen get in contact with you? Well, as I say, my policy, my door is always open, so simply stop by City Hall, and if I'm there and I'm not in another meeting, I'm happy to see you. It's always preferable to make an appointment just to ensure that I am there, but I will meet with virtually everybody, anybody that wants to come and see me. I try to make myself available just by being at things like this. I mean, walking through the grocery store, uh, yeah, people come up and talk to me all the time. So I, I try to be out in the community so I'm available to talk to people. And as I say, uh, if you really want to talk to me, come down to City Hall. In keeping with Mayor Campion's platform of transparency and openness, he plans on having future coffee breaks with the public throughout the year. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mike Morgan.